Hello everyone, Chris here. Today I came with another awesome project. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a high efficiency loadless voltage regulator for a motorcycle. If you are still using those crappy regulators, it's enough. Get rid of them once and for all. Join me in this DIY tutorial. To build this regulator, we need these components. Transistors. Q1 is a TIP-147, a PMP Darlington power transistor. It is recommended to use a suitable heatsink to keep it cool. Q2 VC547 is a NPN transistor. Q3 BC557 is a PMP transistor. The difference between these two transistors is in how they conduct current. In BC547, the base bias must be positive, and in BC557, the base bias must be negative. The diodes. I use five. 6 a 10 rectified diodes four of these are used as a diode bridge z1 a zener diode in 12 volt motorcycle if you need a higher voltage in output you can use a 50 volt zener and if you need a lower output voltages you can use a 12 volt zener diode Resistors 5 1 kilo ohm resistor, and finally, C1 capacitor is an electrolyte capacitor. You can use a 1000 microfarad 50 volt or 2200 microfarad 50 volts electrolyte capacitor. And piece of PCB board in 6 and four centimeters. This is a semantic circuit of high efficiency lossless regulator, specifically designed for motorcycle. Now, why is this circuit lossless and highly efficient? This efficiency is due to the fact that the output transistor turn on only at moment when the AC cycle peaks approach the desired DC output voltage. I wrote complete explanation in the description. You can read them there. All right, now let's go to build a PCB board. To build this circuit on PCB board, we need to convert semantic to PCB design. I have already done this. You can use this design.
well all regulator is ready now let's test its performance in this circuit i used 15 volts zener diode so let's see how it work first connect the ac wires to regulator and also negative wire the green one is the ground now we should have a stable DC voltage at the output the red wire here let's check it set the multimeter on the DC volt negative wire Got a negative prop and the output of regulator got the positive of the multimeter prop. looks great as you saw the output voltage is stable and suitable now let's test it on motorcycle Alright friends, we've reached the end of this video, if you enjoyed please like it and share with your friends and leave your comment and question for me. If you enjoyed this type of content, you can subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on my new videos. Until the next project, farewell.